Raven Chapman takes on Sky Nicholson. Another great chance to kind of maintain the streak against Matrim, but more importantly, an excellent opportunity for Raven in a fight that's been talked about for a long, long time. And I think he will deliver. Yeah, great. Look, great for women's boxing. I'm pleased to see Riyadh season, you know, taking on a, 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 a female world title fight out there. It's a bit of history. Um, she's got a rise to the occasion, Raven. You know, she's in there. You know, she's she's rightfully the underdog. She's going in against the world champion. And Sky's a great fighter, but that we we didn't sign Raven because we thought that she was a good female fighter. We signed her because we knew that she was a good fighter, and that's what it's always been for us. You know, we've had. You know, certain questions asked about how involved we've been in women's boxing. I, I don't like to view it as women's boxing. I like to view it that we're a, we're a boxing promoter. And when we see an exciting talent, whether they be female or male, we want to be involved in their career. And Raven was one of those. We loved her personality. We loved her, fight, her capabilities in the ring and her fighting abilities there. And look, if she, if she performs in the night, obviously it'd be great to get another win against uh, Eddie and Matrim. But look, more importantly, I'd love her to see her do it. But it's a, it's a very interesting and competitive fight, and I look forward to watching it. How confident are you that Fabio Wardley does one better than the draw in the last fight and beats Fraser Clark? Yeah, I'm very confident. That's why we signed Fabio. Um, you know, someone that, again, as a personality, I think is a great person. He's very promotable, very marketable. But... Most importantly for us, the judgment on us is, is this guy's a legit good heavyweight who's got you know capabilities of going very, very far in the division. His performance against Adelaide on the first show in Riyadh season, you know, back then on the Battle of the Baddest, it was destructive. He caught him with some great shots, showed that he can stay and showed he's got a good chin. Um, I think that there are things that he can, I think that he will have learnt since that Fraser Clark fight. And Fraser's no slouch, he's, a, you know, he's an Olympic bronze medalist, lovely bloke as well. Good, good quality domestic heavyweight fight. I'm pleased that we've been able to get it on in Riyadh season, but look, of course, I'm confident that Fabio comes away with a victory. I'm sure you'll know more next week when I'm assuming discussions start, but what is next for Daniel Dubois? Is it the rematch or are we, is it another route? It's a, I mean, listen, it's a bit too soon to say. Um, there's going to be a lot of meetings next week out in Riyadh about various things. I'm sure that's going to be one of the topics that we're going to be talking about, but at the moment, Daniel's away with his family, enjoying his rest. Um, I hope still celebrating like we have been because what he did the other week in at Wembley Stadium, it was phenomenal. And, you know, look, Britain's latest heavyweight champion in the world deserves all the time in the world to take his time and decide what the next steps are. And we'll, we'll help guide him to the right, the right place with that. Last one. I know the dusk has settled on the Chris Eubank outburst at the press conference last week, George. Um, yeah, just what were your thoughts on that? Now it's all been resolved, and would you still look to make the Hamza Shiraz fight in the future? Yeah, um, look, we would make the Hamza Shiraz fight. Of course, we would. It was one that we tried to make for Wembley. Um, look, in terms of what happened the other weekend, the only comment I've got on it is, is it's, it didn't. It's not. It's, for me, it didn't feel appropriate. It wasn't the appropriate setting for that. Those kind of remarks and. Certainly not what Riyadh season's been about so far, which has been you know, more about unifying the sport, getting promoters to work together, getting fighters to come together and you know, no excuses in not seeing fights made. So look, inappropriate timing, but I've got to be honest, I'm, you know, water is off a duck's back for me. 